start exploring the innovative capabilities of Notion AI and find new ways of streamlining your workflow today. Or at least that's what Notion AI wants you to think. In 2021, you were cool if you added stories to your product. In 2022, you were cool if you added some kind of audio clubhouse room thing to your product. And in 2023, you were cool if you add, if you add AI to your product. And that is exactly what Notion is doing because they want to be a cool company. Excuse me, they are a cool company. And they have added Notion AI, a powered AI thingy-mobobber, who knows what's actually underneath the hood, to the product embedded in so you can use it while you're taking notes. I don't usually do sponsored videos, but I like trying AI, and I also already use Notion and like it, so I was like, yeah, I wanna try this, and let's give it a go. Let's start with what everyone wants to know, and that is how much does it cost to use Notion AI? Well, I'm here to tell you that to get started with Notion and unlock the power of Notion AI, you can do so for only $10 a month. And I basically just hit spacebar and Notion AI just kind of spawns up and I have all these cool things that I can do. And, you know, I figured the first thing I do is reword this call to action and see if we can make it a little better. Because we're going to go through all these and kind of see everything that we can do. Um, let's change the tone to be a little bit more friendlier and see what happens there. Get started with Notion today in long term. You won't regret it. It's a great investment for your future. Okay, thank you, AI. Let's do that. What about if I make it more professional? It didn't really change the first line. Begin utilizing Notion today. Okay. Replace. I would figured a good first topic would be why as a programmer, why as a programmer should I even care about Notion AI? and see if it can give us some good information. Now, that's kind of a lot of text to read, so let's shorten it. Perfect. So Notion AI provides a comprehensive set of tools to automate task management. I like automating things as a programmer, that sounds good. And making programming more efficient, that's wonderful. Features include intuitive search, powerful product management, and quick data access. Make the most of the time maximizing program potential with Notion AI. Now, they didn't say like kind of the most important bit, which is I can ask it, write me a blog. Oh, wow, look at that. You can already see that. I did this the other day because, you know, it's a kind of the quintessential thing you got to ask the AIs if they can get the weather. Um, the thing I actually have been using it for, which I used it the other day for, so I asked it how... Can I play sound in React Native? Write me a code snippet. Basically, if you don't ask it to write a code snippet, it won't. And believe it or not, it gave me, I'm even using Expo, so it was perfect. It gave me a little code snippet. Good job, script, beautiful. What should I talk about next when it comes to Notion AI? help you create it's I feel like it's just talking about notion at this point make it longer all right I think at this point it's kind of my script is gonna be need to be you know I was inspired by AI, AI now I need to kind of use my own brain again so the feature of this that I probably use the most is the summarization I just pasted a big blob of text. This is my app store submission description text, which you know, you just fill with a bunch of keywords, you make it big, all that fun stuff. I figured it'd be kind of interesting if I ask AI to summarize this and see what it says. And, oh wait, what, what are you talking about? Unlock the power of, oh, cause I, oh, it also summarized the stuff up here. Oh, that's so funny, it mixed them together. Mental health, well-being, and encourages self-reflection. It provides this space of nurture ones always kind of pretty good honestly that's kind of cool so what i actually use this a lot for is in conjunction with snipping articles so if you do not have the notion plugin already this is what i do so uh news today dude who am i kidding this is where i get my news all right i go to some random article i've been clipping it with notion these days and 
kind of want to put it in my own. Now we'll just stick it in that. Save. So if you didn't know, you can just clip it. It goes right into Notion. And uh, you can just ask AI. Summarize. Go, buddy. The Northern Illinois News bottle capper grade has reported a missing Pico balloon. Wow, it might have been shot by a U.S. horse. Amazing. Anyway, there you go. I read one sentence instead of this in giant article. So we've been clipping a lot of stuff. I don't actually want this anymore. Bye. And action items is kind of for meeting notes, I think. I don't really do meetings. So it's supposed to like pull out the most important bits out of what you're doing. So I potentially could be cool if I did meetings, but I'm just, you know, I'm not trying to do that right now. Translation, let's turn this into Arabic. I wonder if it's going to translate the entire page. Oh, man, they don't have Arabic. That's what I wanted. All right, well, you get to be Japanese then. Oh, wow, it's actually going to go do the whole page. That's pretty cool. Well, have fun with that. Discard. What else do you got for me? Oh, explain this. Oh, well, let's actually give it some code then. Let's see if it can explain code to me. Um, print 4x in list print x. The code will loop through each item in the list and print it. Oh, dang. That's pretty good. Let's see what else you got for me. Blog post. Why React Native is better than Flutter. <laughs> Mobile application has come a long way, blah, blah, blah. Benefits. The benefit was developed by Facebook. Benefit is developed by Google. Okay. Ease of use. Okay, so why is it better? When it comes down to choosing React Native is a clear winner. It knows what's good. It has a much larger developer who you know use more than Flutter. Addition to Arachnid is easier to learn. That is true, actually. Arachnid has better performance and more stable. Dude, Flutter just got wrecked by this AI. All right. Is React.js or AngularJS better? With a certified AI opinion, you difficult to decide which one to choose. Yeah, are two of the most popular both designable here. Yeah, keep going. I want a conclusion. Easier to learn. Easy to use. I you know, it's saying everything's easy. Oh come on, that's a cop out. I told you to keep writing. Continue on. Wow, it just keeps going. Refuses. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. When was the last time I even wrote something? Did I have my blog post? Here we go. Let's grab some of this text. All right, here's a little part of my blog post. Let's see if AI can make it any better. Also, just improve my writing. The Saffron Raspberry is an essential feature. It enables users to input a URL and the app will attempt to extract recipes. Honestly, it's not bad. That's pretty good. Let's control Z actually. Let's try a couple of the other ones. What if I wanted you to make this longer? What would you even say? I feel like part of the fun with working with this stuff is like literally just seeing what the AI does and then that like gives you ideas on what you should be doing. Fetching HTML, it actually, oh, it just like, sometimes it just copies things, you know? It's experimental. The, the new skill is now, are you good at prompting AI? is gonna be the next thing. It's no longer how are you good, are you good at Googling? It's are you good at prompting these things? Let's make it shorter. They're shorter than their summarize. 
Or is there anything else I really want to try out? I think like those are like the big features is that you kind of just like write some text and you press some of these buttons and you see what happens and it's kind of cool and it kind of helps. Honestly, this tool seems like a no brainer. If you're using Notion in one of your teams to write documentation, if you want to ask it how to code, it's just cool to try out. It helps a lot. Your brainstorming is great when you're trying to think of ideas. I will come in here when I'm building a product and I will just ask it dumb questions and it gives me inspiration like 96% of the time. So go give Notion AI a try. It is out now.